Hi again. Um, I wanted to tell you about this new game I've been playing. It's called SimCity Societies, and it sucks. No, it doesn't. Depends on how you see it, because I feel like it's a, it's potentially a good game. Um, I feel like it could be, you know, addictive and, you know, fun. But it crashes way ahead of the point where I actually get to the point where I get addicted to the game. So that, by definition, sucks, right? So does the game suck? I don't know. I was planning to like play it a lot and then, you know, decide for myself because every review I've read kind of says it sucks. Yeah, sure, the controls are really confusing. I mean, the game is obviously targeted towards the same audience that plays The Sims. So then, why do they do this strange thing where they um, they took the controls from The sim Sims and then they reversed them? Like, in The Sims you, you move the camera by pressing the right mu mouse button and you rotate the camera by pressing the mouse wheel. <laughs> this drives me crazy. In SimCity societies, you rotate the camera by pressing the right mouse button and move the camera by pressing the mouse wheel and move the mouse in a different way from the Sims. I mean, it's similar enough so that it gets confusing because you automatically do the re reverse thing and I mean it's just stupid I mean if the people who made this game had even stopped to play The Sims for like five minutes then they wouldn't have done this and they wouldn't even have needed to play The Sims they could just have talked to someone who had played The Sims or had been on the developing team of The Sims, and oh, and another thing. Um, ever since you know, SimCity and The Sims kind of started being in existence at the same time, people have been wishing for some kind of compatibility some kind of way of taking stuff from one game to the other game and in Sims Sims 2 you can take uh, a map from SimCity 4 I think it is okay, and you can import it and have it as a neighborhood for your Sims and um, it just seems like a game like SimCity Societies would have something like that or you could import like a house that you made in The Sims 2 and put it in your game and have have it being like, look, here's the house that I built myself and my sim is living in there. But you can't. Um, so the controls are bad and when you're placing a house, I, I, I get frustrated. Why would I pl want to p put a house down? at a 45 angle degree when I can't build a road that would, you know, fit to it. And why wouldn't I be able to, to build a road at a 45 angle degree? Because that would look good in my city. Because I sure don't like this square city thing. That's just stupid and ugly. Oh yeah, this energy thing they have going. Spirituality and authority and creativity and I th there's six different things of them. And I think that's really a good idea, you know, if, if it has some effect. Okay, if you, if you build a lot of so that you have a surplus of authority, you're gonna get a lot of criminals. I think, because that what happened in my city. That's the only thing that I've noticed before the game crashes again. I managed to 
um, get it not to crash for another half an hour uh -huh. uh, by reinstalling it. That was fun because it installs really quickly. That, like Borat would say. I would like there to be more of a visual effect on the city. If, if I build a lot of creativity houses and only use creativity in my city, then I think something should happen. Um, just doesn't... Although I haven't gotten a city bigger than like three streets because the game will crash all the time for me. On top of these energy things, there's this um, um, theme kind of thing. And I was like, okay, so I'll build a romantic city and see what happens. Maybe, maybe there will be like hearts flying around and stuff. And I started out my city and I built only from the... Actually, I had, it, I had uh, the romantic city thing <laughs> selected the whole time and I guess that should make only romantic buildings show up. So if that has anything to do with what happens in the game, then it should have happened, I think. Uh, but it didn't. Um, granted, my city wasn't that big, but I think if you have only one type of houses in the city, something you should uh, you should be able to see it. The building menu. Uh, it took me a while to figure it out. I mean, this these little lines that go up from the um, the symbols that are the energies and the type of uh, building you, that you, are, you got homes and workplaces and energy and venues. And that you can. I realized after playing like for an hour that the, there was actually this little dotted line going up to the building menu when I had one of those selected, and I didn't see that, and it wasn't mentioned in the tutorial. So I, I was never sure what I was looking at, <laughs> what type of building was I building. It got confusing, but it doesn't matter but because as long as you build a lot of workplaces and I didn't select a hard setting because I didn't want a challenge. I wanted to just build my city and after I had done that, increase the challenge because that's how I play. I, I learned the game first on a simple setting that I can handle and then when I think oh yeah I, I know I, I got a hang of the controls I can do everything I know where everything goes and where I can find stuff uh, after that I go and play a game on a harder setting but I never got to do that Th this game is potentially very addictive but because I can feel it I can feel that if I keep playing my city for a bit longer, I'm gonna feel like I get addicted to it and I want to play more. But since the game crashes, I never get there. The bad control is, isn't that bad. I can get used to it, but the crashes I can't. I, I get thrown out into windows and I just feel like this is too much work just to get into a game and it's not worth it. I don't see the point. And also, I couldn't find the snapshot function. Should be in there, right? It's a Sims kind of game, so where's the snapshot function? It's a Sims kind of game. I couldn't find it. And I also couldn't find the storytelling function. Where did you put it? Where is it now? So Whoever made that game, it wasn't Maxis, and it should have been. They suck bad. And Maxis, do your own games or just don't release them. Because you've got Spore coming up, and it's gonna be great. I hope it's gonna be great, because it's will right, and why wouldn't it be great? Everything else he has done has been great. So stick to making the games yourself. Don't let anyone else screw up your game. Okay? Bye.